Hello everyone, welcome class of 2024. My name is Mr. Hetherington and I'm a learning director at Washington Union High School. Um, we're here today to present um, our pathway options. Obviously we would have liked to have done this in person, but because of everything that's going on, we're going to uh, modify a little bit and do it uh, via video. Alright, so 2024 seems like a long way away, but that's you. So 8th graders, I hope you're ready to become high school students. We're excited to have you, so let's get started. So our, our objective today is Future Panthers, that's you, uh, will gain a general understanding of the opportunities offered and available at Washington Union High School over the next four years. Um, our goal is that students will get information about all of the career pathways that we have to offer here as you prepare to select your pathway, and we'll talk more about that at the end. All right? So, if you have an opportunity to maybe get a pen or maybe even a piece of paper, you can take some notes as we go through this presentation. Um, you can highlight some of the things that stick out to you, some things that you find interesting, because in the end, you're going to want to pay attention to that, so you select the pathway um, that seems most appealing to you. All right, so I'm going to pass along to our principal, Mr. Sharon, and he's going to carry us the rest of the way. Hello, everybody. Glad to be here today. As you can see, this is one of the best moments that I have as a high school principal, and that's graduation. And so we're really proud of Washington Union High School that 97% of our kids that come to Washington Union, they graduate. And so in four years, this will be you. Can't wait to see you walking across the stage to get your diploma. We also want to talk to you today about getting involved and keeping up with your grades. Every year, the Big Fresno Fair has a 4.0 program, and this year, four of our students, uh, actually one of our students, won the grand prize, which is a Toyota Corolla. Yeah, that's right, a car. The other three got scholarships. So once again, stay involved, keep up your good grades. That's what we're all about. Again, I want to go back to getting involved. Relationships and getting involved is big of what I want to talk about today. And so this is just one opportunity uh, to be a leader on campus. All this is one of our rallies, and our rallies are all coordinated by our leadership team, which you could be on. So if you want to get involved on campus, be a class officer, uh, coordinate rallies, coordinate dances, all that kind of good stuff, we have an opportunity for you. Again, that's ASB leadership. Student activities. This goes along with our leadership. This was a, a uh, lunchtime activity. We had a rally. And then we celebrated, continued the celebration, I, I should say, with a little dance in our, in our quad area. So again, getting involved in student activities, being a leader on campus is what it's all about. Stay engaged. Here's our academic decathlon. This is also a class that you could take if you want to compete with your brain. This is our academic decathlon team this year. We won first place in... Um, division four and so we're real proud of, of the team here. Miss Villalobos is the coach and she's an outstanding teacher so again if you want to compete with your brain academic decathlon is for you. Performing arts we have a world-class band there they are. Uh, we always compete at the Big Fresno Fair. Uh, we won first place this year grand sweepstakes. Uh, we also have a choir team. We also have color guard and we have some dance as well. If that's what you would like to do, we have a performing arts for you. Athletics. Washington Union High School athletics is big. We love our athletic programs here. Our football team on top there. Uh, last year, our volleyball team went to the state championship and brought home a title. Um, here are two of our athletes this year, uh, Mr. Tori Horton and Mr. Darius McRae. They both signed uh, scholarships, with one with the University of Nevada and the other with the University of New Mexico uh, to play football. So if you're an athlete, we got everything here for you. Can't wait to get you involved. At this time, we're going to segue into a little video. Now again, what Mr. Heatherton said was pay attention and take some notes, right? Because this is going to be a key decision for you going forward. You've got to have a pathway when you come to Washington Union High School. All freshmen are required to pick it. And so here's a little video showing all of our pathways. And so we'll be back with you when the video is over.
Alright, I'm back. Hope you enjoyed the video. I want to take a note to what I'm holding here in my hand. This is our Pathway brochure, and this is also going to be online at our district website for you to take a look at. And as we go through it, I just want to kind of show you how it's set up. So right now we're going to go into each one of our pathways. Mr. Hetherington and I will explain each one of them to you, give you some ideas about what you're getting yourself into. But the booklet is set up where this is the pathway, which is our health science pathway, and then here's the courses that you will be taking as you move through the pathway from freshman to your senior year. Okay, so I, I encourage you to take a look at this at our district website. It's got a lot of information that will, be, that will help you make your decision. Our first pathway that we're going to talk about today is our patient care. Patient care pathway has everything to do if you want to get into the medical field. And so right here, this picture off to my, to my left is our freshman class last year. And they went downtown and they dissected cow hearts. And so if that's something that you want to get into, again, the patient care pathway is for you. Now this is just a quick breakdown of all the different courses that are involved with our patient care pathway, but I do want to talk about a couple things specifically. Our health care pathway is what we call dual enrollment. And so if you join this pathway, uh, you will be, as a freshman, you will be taking college courses. And so by the time you get through Washington Union High School, you will have at least 16, perhaps 22 uh, college units, and you can also come out with a medical assistance uh, certificate. And so again, doctors, nurses, anything in the medical uh, field, this is where you want to be. We also have a partnership with uh, Community Regional Medical Center where our senior class goes downtown and actually does intern hours uh, at the hospital. Uh, they do uh, work in the, in the operating room, they worked in the offices, they delivered babies, you name it, it's happening and we're involved with it. All right, our next pathway is Public services. All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, um, one of the pathways that we have is our public services pathway, um, also known as our Law and Justice Institute. So, within this pathway that you will be in for four years, um, they do a lot of amazing things. So, they learn a lot about the law, learn about how to carry out um, uh, different scenarios. Um, they, they take a lot of field trips to different places like the jail, the morgue, which I'm always too afraid to go to. But they do a lot of amazing things. Um, we get a lot of uh, volunteers that come to speak to the class, um, such as uh, current or former um, sheriff or deputies. Um, this up here was a, uh, a visit from a couple uh, law enforcement agents that work with canines. Um, so they came and showed students um, how they use uh, the dogs um, in their field. All right, um, down here is a picture of um, going and working with fire extinguishers. So a lot of what goes on in the Law and Justice Institute, um, you get to use in going forward if that's a career field that you would like to pursue. All right, the next pathway that we're gonna talk about is ag mechanics. Ag mechanics is part of our, uh, we have a few different pathways in our ag program. Um, ag mechanics is one that they do a lot of welding. Um, over here, you see this is a part on our campus um, that they completely transformed. Um, they did all the landscaping and um, the um, sprinkler system and everything else, all done by students within this pathway. Um, here we had a, uh, a s'more, uh, like a, a little event out on campus um, to highlight our ag mechanics program. Um, they make all these things by themselves, um, they design it, they measure it, they cut it, they do everything um, by themselves with the teacher. So that's what you would be um, learning and uh, perfecting in the pathway of ag mechanics. All right. um, another pathway within our ag department is our floral design. Um, our floral design pathway is another pathway that does have a dual enrollment class, so you would potentially um, graduate from high school through the floral design pathway with some units counted towards your college um, degree. Um, so a lot of things that they do, um, they work on arrangements, uh, they compete in a lot of the fairs and other things that go on um, throughout the state. 
Um, we always have a great floral team. They always bring home a lot of first place ribbons. Um, they also talk about how you can create your own possible floral shop one day. So some entrepreneurship elements to that as well. Um, so that's another pathway if you're interested in, in joining, which is floral design. Um, the next pathway is our wonderful program. So I'm going to pass it back to Mr. Sharon to explain that. So we've been talking about dual enrollment courses. I want to slow down for a second and talk a little bit more. Again, dual enrollment means that you are enrolled at high school, obviously, but you're also have enrolled in either Fresno City College or Reedley College. Okay, so the Wonderful program, we have a partnership with Palm Wonderful. They make pistachios and pomegranate juice and they, they have just a wide, wide area of, of study in regards to agriculture. Um, and so this pathway would get you, believe it or not, a degree by the time you graduate high school, you will also have a Reedley College uh, Associate's degree in Ag Mechanics. And so, from the summertime that you become, well, this summer, as a freshman, incoming freshman, you would be able to jump into college courses, um, and it's required to take the college courses, again, each semester of high school. And so, here's just some, some talking points. Uh, students take first college course before starting high school, which I talked about. Uh, they continue taking these courses throughout your entire high school career and again you end up with an associate's degree. So this is a very rigorous pathway um, and again dual enrollment heavy. Uh, the program of study, this also Ag Mechanics, we do, they do a lot of field trips here as well. They go out and study farms, study soils, uh, study irrigation, all kinds of different things. They go to all different uh, college trips to expose yourself to college. Um, also do some internships perhaps, and some uh, field job studies with Palm Wonderful at their factories, learning how uh, their actual company runs. And so again, a very engaging, very exciting pathway if agriculture and ag mechanics is for you. So just a couple of pictures of our last year, our first graduating class from Washington Union High School and Reedley College. And here's two of our students that you actually go to Reedley and and perform, or excuse me, not perform, but participate in their graduation ceremony. So not only will you have a nice graduation ceremony at Washington Union High School, you'll actually go to Reedley and, and graduate with the, with the college seniors there as well. Again, I mentioned before about some field trips. This is a field trip that the students uh, fundraised for and took a college trip for, uh, I think it was four days down to Southern California um, and having some fun. I talked earlier about building relationships and staying engaged. This is what it's all about. You're building relationships with, with your friends, you're building relationships with your counselors, your directors of the programs, and staying engaged in high school. Um, just again, another little picture of some celebration going on at the end of the year with the wonderful uh, Prep Academy kids. Um, lastly about the program, uh, there's opportunities after you graduate to start working for Wonderful. Uh, company is starting at $35,000. There's some scholarships involved uh, to continue your studies at a, at a collegiate. Um, so those are just some benefits of, of being in this program. This time, next up, is our pathway of careers and education. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right, so you've already heard about a few pathways. Here's some more. One is our education pathway. So if you're interested in doing anything with child development at any age, or becoming a principal, like Mr. Sharon, um, becoming a teacher, counselor, anything that involves you in any career with education, this would be a good pathway for you. Um, so as you see, there's a lot of learning, but a lot of teaching that goes into it as well. So you're going to familiarize yourself with strategies and techniques that teachers or educators use to teach uh, students at any age or grade level um, about whatever content that you're going to teach. So you develop lesson plans, um, a lot of public speaking because you're up in front teaching um, your peers, but also um, there's opportunities down the road where you will get an opportunity to um, teach um, different grade levels uh, throughout your four years at Washington High School. So if you're interested in education, this is the pathway for you. 
Um, the next one is uh, construction or ag construction. So there's a lot of uh, building, um, assembling, uh, measuring, a lot of details that go into uh, construction. So we're working with wood, um, some opportunities work with metal, um, but a lot of working with tools, a lot of safety guidelines and precautions that you're going to learn and how to deal with um, when you are building things. Um, again, another opportunity for you to compete. Um, if you build some things, you can enter them into some of the fairs and compete and see how your um, projects measure up against other projects around the valley. So that is another pathway, construction. Um, and then I'm going to pass it back to Mr. Chair and talk about robotics. All right, brand new pathway at Washington Union High School this year. So if you are interested in a robotics type pathway, um, this will be you. Can you see the pictures up here? But this is also, we talk, keep talking about competition. A lot of our pathways go compete around the valley and even perhaps in the state um, with other students to show off the skills that you've created uh, as you move through the high school system. And so again, I said this is a brand new one. Uh, Mr. Archuleta will be uh, starting this program next year. Some possible careers, if you're interested, would be a robotics engineer, mechanical engineer, technician, software developer, all that good stuff. Um, so again, brand new, and if robotics is something that you'd like to do, then this is for you. Our digital media pathway. You remember we had the great video that we saw uh, at the beginning of our, the pathway presentation, and that was created by our very own students. They went around, they interviewed uh, the different teachers and the directors of the, of the pathways, learned about it, then they went back to the classroom and I'll put that video together. So if computers um, is it something that you're into and you like, all the work's done on Apple uh, computers and so you get to learn a lot about uh, the different programs associated with, with Apple and the MacBooks. Uh, you also saw in the video, if you took note, there was a drone. So we're, this uh, pathway is starting to work with junk drones and cameras and, and video editing and all that good stuff. I know we're going fast, but I hope you're learning a lot. I hope you're again relationships and staying engaged. And Mr. Heatherton's up with a couple more pathways. Thank you, Mr. Sharon. All right. Um, another pathway is our business pathway. This is an awesome pathway. This kind of applies to a lot of different areas if you are interested. Um, it, there's, there's a lot that they talk about. Um, sports and entertainment marketing, personal finance, um, any type of business marketing, accounting, um, also principles of business. So maybe one day if you want to start your own business um, in any type of field, um, this would be a good pathway for you. Obviously a lot of public speaking, a lot of math, and a lot of things go into um, building a business. So in this pathway we'll prepare you to eventually one day uh, maybe be an entrepreneur or maybe get into the business field. Um, and this would prepare you for that. So there's a lot of good stuff that goes into this pathway as well. Um, um, another pathway, this probably would have been my pathway. I, I love sports. So um, if you are interested in sports, if you're an athlete, if you have uh, any ambition one day of maybe becoming a coach, I know for me there were a lot of coaches in my life that stuck out to me. So that's why I got into coaching and teaching eventually. Um, but this is a pathway for you. All right, so you get into um, learning what it takes to coach, learning strategies, um, a lot like the education pathway, learning how to deal with students, teach them uh, fundamentals, techniques, um, and things like that. In-game strategy, depending on what sport you play and what sport you would potentially coach, um, but this is the pathway for you. So we call it athletics, career, and college, um, and we call AC2 is kind of the acronym for it. Um, so if you're interested in sports, interested in becoming a coach one day, this would be the pathway for you. All right, and then the last pathway that we're going to talk about, Ms. Sharon's going to bring us home, is illustration. Last but certainly not least, so if you are interested in drawing, um, 2D design, 3D design, uh, color, working with the different color shades and all that good stuff, uh, art is your thing, this is the pathway that you want to be in. We keep talking about dual enrollment and I'm going to talk about it again. In our art, our illustration pathway, we also will have some dual enrollment opportunities for you. Uh, the class also ends in your senior year in a AP Studio Art, so you're going to be creating a portfolio, if you will, and submitting that for college credit uh, as well. And so again, illustration, uh, art, design, if that's you, this is the pathway for you. Uh, one last 
thing that we're going to talk about in regards to pathways, Mr. Hetherton is going to talk about it, but that's our Panther Academic Support System. Now again, I want to slow down just for a second and say we've gone through a lot of pathways here. We have 12 different ones at Washington Union High School, and so there should be something for you to get interested in. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about how you can contact us if you have questions, but that's what you got to look forward to at Washington Union High School, the best high school in the valley. 12 pathways, take your time, review it with your parents, pick the one that's right for you. Mr. Heatherton? Thank you, Mr. Sharon. All right, Mr. Sharon mentioned that we have, um, we have all these pathways, the, the ones that we previously talked about, all 12 of them. Um, our PASS system is separate from those pathways, but it is still a program that if you're interested in that you can get involved in for all four years of high school. Um, if you are familiar with AVID, uh, Washington Union has, has had AVID on campus for more than 10 years, um, but we've uh, changed and modified AVID a little bit, and we've created what we call and refer to as our PASS class, Panther Academic Support System. All right, so what this does is this helps prepare you, helps uh, support you throughout all of your classes in high school at Washington Union. Um, the goal being that every student will graduate from Washington Union High School ready for college, career and life, prepared to pursue the future of their choosing. So this is not something that you have to be involved in, but once you pick a pathway, if this is something you want to be in in addition to the pathway, this is something that you would select, okay? Um, so with that being said, um, some of the goals of PASS is not to get students in PASS to college, but get them prepared to get all the way through college, all right? Creating lifelong learners and achievers. Um, so again, this is a separate program, separate from our pathways, that if you're interested in um, some extra support, um, some, uh, some teachers and tutors and people that you'll be with for all four years of high school that you can get through high school together with, um, PASS would be uh, a program that you would want to get involved in. All right? So I know we're not doing this in person, so I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Um, but hopefully we answered a lot of questions that you would have had. Um, coming into high school and coming into eighth grade orientation. Um, but if you do have any questions, um, here are some contacts that you can um, reach out to that we would love to help you um, and answer any questions or concerns that you might have about any of the pathways or anything that goes on at Washington Union High School. Uh, Mr. Sharon, this is his email address. Uh, myself, learning director, feel free to contact us. If you are interested in the wonderful program, Mr. Sharon talked about that. It's very rigorous and kind of a high demand. But if you have any questions about that, Steve Rizzo, uh, Mr. Rizzo is the person in charge of that program. You can reach out to him for any additional information. Okay? So please feel free to reach out to us. Feel free calling the school or reaching out to any of us uh, if you have any questions or concerns uh, regarding this presentation or anything as we prepare to go into next year. Um, so, what do we do now? Okay, we learned a lot about all 12 pathways, we learned about our past program, we learned about a lot of different things that you can get involved with uh, at Washington Union High School. So what now? Um, you're in 8th grade, uh, we have uh, time that we're spending at home that we, we don't get to talk to teachers and people, so what do we do? How can we move forward? Alright, so the first thing that we want to encourage you to do is talk to your parents. Okay, so hopefully they can watch this video as well. You guys can sit down and discuss all the different pathways that we have to offer. Um, all, available online will be that uh, handbook that Mr. Sharon referred to. Um, you can go through that as well. Um, you may have more questions. On the bottom of each of those pages is also the contact information for the teacher of that pathway. So if you want to get some more direct information about the pathway, maybe what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, um, what the transition is or what the process is or progression from freshman year to sophomore year to junior year to senior year, feel free to reach out and talk to those teachers or email them and they will get back to you. Um, the, the next thing we want you to do is we want you to get excited about becoming a Panther. Obviously this school year didn't end how we had all planned, but next year we are still getting ready for and we are excited to have all of our incoming 8th graders become freshmen next year at Washington Union High School. So we want you to get excited as well. All right? And then the last thing we need you to do um, is we, we need you to go to our district website and fill out your pathway selections. Okay? So 
what you would do is that you will go to WashingtonUnified.org, okay? That is our district website. On that website, there will be a section on the website that talks about um, incoming 8th graders or 8th grade uh, orientation or registration, okay? So what you're going to want to find is the Class of 2024 Pathway Selection Google Form, okay? You're going to get on that form. You're going to fill it out. Now, like we talked about, there's 12 different pathways. We're going to ask you to uh, select five of them, okay? And our goal is to try to get you into your top one, maybe your top two picks, okay? We've had a lot of success in getting students in their top one or top two picks of pathways that they are interested in, okay? So you're going to number one through five, just so we have some backups if needed. Um, and our goal is to start preparing your schedule and preparing your classes for next year, and that includes the pathways. So the sooner you get these pathway uh, decisions in, the quicker we can start um, filling in schedules. All right, so our goal is that hopefully by May 15th, all of the 8th graders that are coming to Washington Union High School next year will have filled out the Google form so that we can start building schedules and putting, in, putting you in the pathway of your choice. Okay, it's not guaranteed we can get you in the top one, but our goal is definitely the top one or two. Okay, um, and then lastly, uh, we look forward to seeing you um, at the start of next school year. Obviously, these are some uh, crazy times, but we're still trying to get you prepared for next year. Um, until then, we ask and, and hope that you continue to be safe, and as always, go Panthers!